Memphis gets another chance to make a statement against the SEC, this time during bowl season. For the American Digital Network, I'm Healy Outen. One of the most memorable moments from this year in the American Athletic Conference was Memphis's October 17th win over number 13 Ole Miss. The win thrust Memphis to the forefront of the college football scene and into the top 25. A three-game losing streak in November ended their conference championship hopes, but all three losses came to teams currently in the top 25. The key for Memphis all year has been quarterback Paxton Lynch. The 6'7 junior emerged as one of the top QBs in the country and an elite NFL prospect. On the year, he tossed 28 touchdowns to just three interceptions. Lynch keys a prolific offense that ranks 13th nationally in total and passing offense. He has shared the wealth in a balanced offensive attack. Memphis has five players with at least 50 rushing attempts and six with at least 20 receptions. Last time out, the offense was clicking on all cylinders as they racked up an American record 56 first half points and grew to a 63 to nothing senior day win over SMU. Auburn entered the season with eyes on an SEC championship and possibly a playoff berth, but endured a tough season that saw them finish 6 and 6 overall and 2 and 5 in the SEC. Coach Gus Malzahn's normally potent offense struggled all year with quarterbacks Jeremy Johnson and Sean White. The Tigers defense ranked 4th in the SEC but they will be without defensive coordinator Will Muschamp, who accepted a job as South Carolina's head coach. If this one comes down to the kicking game, both teams can look to one of the best in the nation. Memphis's Jake Elliott and Auburn's Daniel Carson were two of the three finalists for this year's Lou Grauzo Award given to the best college kicker in the country. Memphis lost head coach Justin Fuente to Virginia Tech following the regular season, so co-offensive coordinator Daryl Dickey will coach the Tigers in the bowl game and has already been retained by incoming head coach Mike Norvell. Norvell comes to Memphis after spending the last four years as deputy head coach and offensive coordinator at Arizona State. Norvell inherits a program that has reached new heights this year and looks to be in strong position to sustain that success. The Tigers reached their highest ranking in school history when they came in at number 13 and will secure the program's first back-to-back 10-win -back season with a win in Birmingham. Auburn and Memphis have only met twice, with Memphis taking a pair of wins in the late 1970s. Kickoff is set for noon Eastern time on December 30th at Legion Field. You can watch on ESPN. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.